I am not the ultimate fisherman, but I'm getting there. So today we're going to really try to hammer down on the different types of species that you can catch. We've come out to this lovely little creek. That's my wife over there. She's going to join me today. A lot of people find it really silly to be fishing in water that barely comes up to your ankles. The fact is most fish species in the world tend to be three inches or smaller. A lot of minnows, chubs, darters, dace, mad toms. Most people I know can only name like seven species of fish and they're all sports fish. And I mean, I get it. That's what you fish for. That's what you eat. This to me is an extremely interesting way of fishing because you never know what you're going to pull out of the water. So let's go do that. So the main key to small creek fishing is that majority of your fish are going to be hanging out in deeper sections. You'll have these nice shallow areas where the water is really ripping and then it'll drop off into these holes with some kind of structure or some kind of obstacle in the way that slows down the current, gives them a current break to hide behind, a place to sit and wait for food to be brought to them. Today I'm using a size 30 gamakatsu with a teeny tiny piece of worm on it. And we got one, Oop, off the hook, but that was definitely hooked in the mouth. And there is our first catch of the day. The downside to this type of fishing is a lot of these fish look alike. Once you spend a lot of time reading about all these fish, studying all the different pictures, or just fishing for them in general, you'll start to get a better understanding of what's in your area, what to look for, and the differences between species. I'm definitely not at that point yet, so I'm not completely confident in saying out loud what this fish is, but it'll show up on the screen somewhere. That one stayed on the hook that time. Whoop, and then he jumped off. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him go since we've already caught one of these today. And he's gone. The thing about this multi-species fishing is that you are going to catch the same fish over and over and over again. But occasionally, you pull up something different and that makes it all worth it. Oh. Yep, another one. It hooked in the mouth. Change of location, change of fish. Now this one, I am confident in the same what he is. This is a stripe shiner. Ah. And the method we're using for all this is just bottom fish. And we got our tiny hook and our piece of worm. And then slightly above that, I have two split shots because this current is kind of moving in parts. And all we're doing is letting it sit on bottom, reeling up on the slack and waiting for a tug. I like fishing these types of barriers in the creek because fish are coming from downstream and then as they get up and hit these things like bridges and dams and things, 
right in the underneath you got a lot of oxygen you have a deeper hole from where the water is digging it out and then you just have a an actual barrier so all the fish just congregate in this one little spot predators eat the smaller fish smaller fish uh, smaller fish are eating the things that are getting washed downstream definitely my favorite place to fish And we got us another another species for the day. We'll throw him in the tank. And this is gonna be our first chub for the channel. It's definitely not a creek chub, but I'll put what it exactly is on the screen. I'm going to guess right now bluehead chub. Another one of those chubs. And he took my worm. Oh, there's a darter. He just shot off into that hole. Nope. Bluegill. First one of the day, surprisingly. Nope. I ain't getting nothing after that bluegill. Same thing that I've been catching all day. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> wow. That's really wow. I'm impressed. And there was no stopping. Holy smokes. You need help? Nah, I got it. Alright, so. I should be fine. <laughs> huh? I should be fine. Come get this photo tank, though. I'm scared now. <laughs> yeah, stay over there. Wow. Right. I got it. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. <gasps> oh. Oh. All right. Don't. And then there's no hole. That's so crazy. Woo. <laughs> that was startling. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, wow. There's a school of bass over here. Eat my tiny worm. Shiner. Oh. There you go. Yeah, you need to come over here with your bigger worm. They're hovering around that area. There goes one. Good luck. I'm so tired of these things. I need to warm. Oh, yeah. Got him? Nice. Huh? Nice. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. He's decent. Nice. Coming in the hook out. You know, I haven't caught one of those on the channel yet. Thanks. I haven't caught one of those on the channel yet. Making me look bad. You look bad. Making me look bad. Oh. Well, your hook is small. That, they probably ain't gonna eat yours. Yes, but I already set the precedent. I'm using the small hook today. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. It was in his mouth. But it was in his mouth. It worked. Give me your big hook. There we go. Finally. Took way too long to get him on the channel, but we finally got one. Whenever you're ready. goes I think we'll call it quits there multi-species is definitely my favorite type of fishing put a worm on a small hook throw it in the water everything will show up and that's part of the fun is you don't know what's going to actually come up out of the water so we ticked a few species off the list including our first bass so that was great I'm kind of ashamed that it took me having to use a worm after I spent two whole days throwing an artificial jig around, but we do what we do. I want to thank my lovely wife for joining us today. And until next time, y'all have a good one.